hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new vlog so you're actually seeing future me because i realized that the footage that i have so far i never filmed an intro i caught up on some laundry we have a Publix haul and we're just gonna hang out together is basically what we're doing so now um oh and we had an amazing storm which was really fun so anyway i'm gonna roll the footage now of yesterday from where it started and then I'm gonna pick up again. Here we go. Here is the spiced Coca-Cola. We're gonna try it for the first time. It smells good. You mm -hmm. smell it? Mm -hmm. It smells quite like raspberry. Coca-Cola has released a spiced version. I'm not a big pop drinker, big Coke drinker. It's very seldom far and few between. Um, Larry likes cherry Cokes, you guys know that but we saw this and we've been wanting to try it. I wanted to get it in a single bottle, but could not find a single bottle in Publix today. I even checked the refrigerators and all the stuff at the checkout. So I ended up getting the minis. So hopefully we like this because now we have a case. If not, we'll take it to mom and dad's and we can have it <laughs> over there. Maybe they can have it if they enjoy it, but they're not we'll clear. To the worms. They're not clear on what the spiced is, but they said, Coca-Cola said that it is not spicy. It's not hot. It's not hot, like a hot spice. So it is raspberry, yes? Yes. Raspberry spiced Coca-Cola. So here we go, cheers. You want me to do the first sip? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna judge and see if you're gonna like it. The reason why I found it was it's very similar packaging to the Cherry Coke. Yes. And I thought, whoa, spice, I don't want that. That's fun. <laughs> I like that a lot. But also it kind of tastes flat. Oh no. I feel like it's not as fizzy as it should be but it's fun. Like it's not as carbonated as it should be. You're nearly off screen. But I like the flavor. Is it not as fizzy? Hmm, it may not be. Is it normally like that when you pour it over the ice with your cherry? Oh yeah. It's, yeah. so it's, it's fine then. Yeah. Okay. You I just pour. feel like when you get Coke from like Wendy's or like places like that. It's just like overly fizzy and I'm burping up like carbonation. I feel like well, these aren't as intense. Those in the dispenser have the, the separate line. Okay. So those are probably going to be more fizzy than... Okay. But I really like that flavor. I think that's fun. Yeah, it's... You're off camera. Oh. <laughs> this man. <laughs> it's very good. There's, there's the taste of raspberry immediately, but then the aftertaste turns into like a fruit explosion or something. Yeah, I, I, I think... I can't explain it. I think it's good. Yeah? I would get it. Mm -hmm. Would you get it again? I would. You'll drink those? Yeah. Awesome. So that means it's good. If Larry says yes, he'll drink that, then they're good. I think that's fun. See, I don't agree with that person's review. We read a review to see if we think we would like it. I never trust anybody else's review because it's an opinion of theirs. Like, your taste buds aren't the same. Yes. Like, we can take them into consideration, but... You should still always try something yourself. Like, that's how I look at everything. You can review a book, a car. I mean, everybody has their own tastes or their own interests. Yeah. Um, but it's hard with food and drink, I think. With yeah. trying to review. I think that's really fun. I think that would be good with, like, rum. Ooh. If you were, like, into that vibe, like a rum and coke because of the spice and the... And the raspberry, I think that's good. Cool, awesome. All right, I'm also gonna show you guys everything that I picked up at the grocery store. Mm, I, what would you rate it on a 10 scale? On a 10 scale? I'd give it an eight. For somebody who doesn't drink soda, like mm. an eight, I think that flavor is really good. It's like a combination of a Dr. Pepper to me and a regular Coke, but not, but not, no, no, no. More fruity, yeah. more fun, more fruity, not as like, savory as Dr. Pepper. I'd go a nine. Oh, good job, Coke. Did well. And then I did pick up Larry uh, crosswords. He loves crossword puzzles. And then for the first time ever, 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 ever in my life. Ever. They got blue on again today. 
It's a little darker than normal. But... <laughs> I picked myself up the jumbo crossword puzzles. I want to challenge myself. I'm into reading right now, and I thought, you know what? When Larry does some of his crosswords, maybe I'll do my word search puzzles. I'm better at the word searches. These are a struggle for me, hmm. like a big struggle. Although these can be a struggle for me too. So, but yeah, I thought it would be fun instead of scrolling and stuff like that or looking at my phone. I thought it would be fun to quiz the brain. And so. shout out to the Heat and Fire and Rescue in Lorain County in Ohio. That is my home, my hometown, Eaton Township. Mm -hmm. It's a good place. Mm -hmm. Yes, and shout out to all the first responders. And just first responders everywhere, anywhere. Yeah. All right, guys, let me show you. I need to unpack it, and then I'll show you everything that I picked up at Publix. Do you want me to pour you one of those? No. Okay. I just, I'm like, you know, I just steal yours. <laughs> I have a sip of yours, but it is good. She takes my drinks, she takes my PJ, she takes my shirts. That's what wives are for. Mm. Mm -hmm. Do your job then. That's right. Here is our Publix haul. These are the hot dogs that we get. They're the natural Angus bun life, bun life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> bun length beef franks and then they have five dollar sushis oh my gosh guys send help i can't speak i can't talk the five dollar sushi on wednesday at Publix. so i got a california roll we have mango some lemon um two percent milk larry's cinnamon french toast liam's waffle cubs in cinnamon two packs of blueberries we can go through two packs of blueberries in like three days in this house <laughs> Um, I bought one of these for the first time. I don't normally get these kits, but for some reason they were screaming my name. So I got a Caesar chopped salad kit. It has romaine lettuce in it, cheese, garlic croutons, crumble Parmesan cheese with Caesar dressing. I have never tried these, but I've been looking for like a black bean burger for myself and for Liam and maybe Larry. I don't think he would like this, especially this one because it's spicy, but... Um, and Liam will not eat this either because it is spicy, but for myself, I got the spicy one. And then for Liam, I got the little veggie grillers. As I've mentioned before, I have a hard time getting him to like eat uh, meat and veggies. So I'm gonna try this situation with the veggies. We'll see how it goes. We have a white onion, banana, and then two more salad kits. So we have the Mediterranean, which has escarole, endive, Broccoli stalks, cauliflower, feta cheese, crispy flatbread strips, radicchio, radicchio, carrots, red cabbage with basil, bus, balsamic vinaigrette. Talk about a mouthful. And then a dill pickle chopped kit, which has the shredded cauliflower, crinkle cut radishes, red, green cabbage, green leaf lettuce, kale, dill pickle, something croutons with a creamy dill pickle ranch dressing. I don't know. Sounded really good. And then the Italian salads. This was buy one, get one free. Some strawberries, watermelon, two packs of that. And then over here, I'm in my hint water phase. So this is the peach. These have zero calories, zero sweeteners. It's just water infused with um, pineapple essence for the pineapple flavor. This is the peach, I already said that. The strawberry, lemon, blueberry lemon, raspberry, and another, oh, this is mango. Um, bacon, some sponges. I saw the pink and I was like, ooh, those are pretty. So <laughs> I got pink sponges. And then I also was caught off guard by this beautiful Dawn dish soap. This is the pomegranate and rose water scent. I've never seen it before. It does look a little watery, more watery than the blue Dawn, but we will see. And then blissful apple cinnamon scent thingy. I got these two for the laundry room just because we have the kitty box in there and I don't know, just helps with freshening the air. So we also got this pure linen air freshener, long lasting continuous odor control for stubborn smells. I've never used this. I have used this in the past, but this one intrigued me just because of the pure linen, linen fresh scent. So anyways, that is everything that I picked up at Publix today. Plus the spiced Coke and the cherry coke. Oh my gosh, so much laundry.
we are currently getting a big thunderstorm. You would think that it was like sunset, 7 p.m. It is dark. It doesn't look like it because I have the light on, but Larry and I are gonna try and sneak out front and sit on the patio and watch the storm, but it depends. We might get soaked, might get wet. I don't know. If you're hearing the loud noise, it's coming through the skylight, but I don't think there's any lightning yet. Otherwise we wouldn't go outside, but we'll see. Larry just checked if we could sit outside and he said we would get wet and the temperature dropped like 12 degrees and that it's cold. So we're not gonna go out because we don't want to get wet. Good raining, bud. Hello guys, it is the next day. So I'm going to make one of those salads that I picked up. This is the Mediterranean crunch salad. I just get a super big like Tupperware bowl with a lid, pour all the contents in and give it a shake. That's simple. So that's what we're having. Um, I also need to like film an intro for this vlog because I realized when I was editing what I filmed so far, I didn't do that. So pause because I'm gonna film the intro. All right, guys, let's make this salad. Also, those pickles that I've been raving about, the Majestic Pickles, they are the Mount Olive brand, and it's like the Majestic Limited Edition or Limited, I hope it's not limited and I'm not getting rid of them, but I hope the salad isn't bad already. Just got it. Nope, it's good. Okay, cool. So, well, that one's a little funky, but that's fine. All right. I like these whole chopped salad things. All right, so then we have all of our little goodies in this packet. Some kind of a balsamic, our feta, and our strips. And then honestly, guys, I'm having some chicken nuggets with Liam. We're gonna have some dinosaur nuggets. They're the um, lightly breaded, like, I don't know what they are, but they're very good. They're dinosaur nuggets. Well, I can't get this undone. Here we go. Perfect. Ooh, little crispy croutons. It's probably not good for me to use my teeth, but you know, here we are. We are in the process, by the way, too, of setting up the lanai furniture, which I showed you guys like a little smidge over on Instagram, just of us getting all this stuff out. And man, oh man, did we run into an issue with our furniture. I had to contact Home Depot, it was a whole thing, which then we had to contact the vendor. Um, well, Home Depot contacted the vendor. Essentially, what I picked based on the picture, because I ordered it online. And you know, when you order your furniture online, you're going by like the pictures that you're seeing. So I was like, oh, this is nice. Of course, there is a description, but I guess I failed at that part or something because I did not get exactly what the picture looked like. I was missing a piece and then I had an extra chair and I was like, well, this doesn't make sense. And we got it specifically for like the corner. So it made sense perfectly for our lanai and now it doesn't because we didn't get that piece that was featured in the picture. We got an extra chair instead. And I was like, this doesn't make any sense. And they were like, oops, sorry. Yeah, we didn't update the picture of the product that you got, but the description was correct. And I'm like, 
Okay, so anyway, we had a bit of a hiccup there, but we're still going. Larry's currently outside building a table and we just went to Home Depot and picked up like a pool tote. It's wicker, it's really pretty. And then we'll put all the pool supplies in that, like the pump and the chlorine and like the cleaning stuff, all the stuff will go inside that one eye. Anyways, this is what I do with my salad. It's super easy. It's not as pretty, not as cute, but it works. Oh. All right, so we're gonna have salad, chicken nuggets for dinner. I am winning. Look at this, that looks really good. Yum. It's Friday as I'm filming this. It is Saturday as you guys are seeing this tomorrow. Happy Easter weekend. I hope you guys all have an amazing weekend, whatever you are getting up to. And here we go. Let's try this salad. Mmm. That dressing is amazing. The crunch in this salad is amazing. This is the Mediterranean one. Oh, really quick. We need to talk about the show. Guys, Firefly Lane. I don't think I can do it. It's just so different from the book. I feel like if I would have watched the series first and then read the book, I would have been fine. But because I watched the book, I see it one way and they've completely changed that. And I just don't know if I can, if I can get through it. Whoa. You know the series on a side note, Iron Flame. Hi, buddy. You got your Easter egg? Yeah. Liam's running around with an Easter egg. Um, the series Iron Flame and, um, oh, what was the first one? That's the second one, though. <gasps> Hi, bud. He's like, who are you talking to, mama? Why am I having a brain block, guys? I need my phone to think. Hold on. Pick another for fun. Fourth Wing. That's the first book. So I read Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. But I have not started Iron Flame, which is the second book, but they have just announced that the third book is scheduled to come out in January of 2025. Also, can we say like how, how insane does January 2025 sound? Like that's insane. It's called Onyx Storm. So I do want to get on board with reading that book. And a lot of you have been asking me where I got Larry's crossword from and the word search that I've been doing from, which highly recommend, by the way. I got them at Publix. It was kind of like a purchase on a whim. So that's where I picked up ours. I'm also having some mozzarella sticks, by the way. It's one of those kind of dinner nights. 